Hi, I'm Alex Kataoka, based in Kobe, Japan. And I'm Trevor Francis, speaking from Newbury in the UK. And we're here to tell you about the latest developments with Edius. But before we do that, Alex, uh, I'd like to spend just a few moments reminding everyone just what a great editor Edius is. Okay, that's a great idea. So, Alex, uh, how many Edius licenses are there in use around the world today, and where are they geographically? So, geographically, we're located around the world. We have users um, uh, in uh, countries uh, worldwide, and uh, we count approximately around like more than 30,000 units being used uh, specifically in the broadcast sector. And uh, if we count the professional area uh, beyond broadcast, the number goes uh, well beyond 100,000. So what types of productions use EDIUS? So the, uh, it ranges from news, sports, documentaries, dramas, wedding photographers, um, any types of uh, professional uh, video editing. And what, what attracts um, so many users in all of these different genres? What attracts them to EDIUS? So there's a lot of things there, but first, um, the uh, key part is that the users can design EDIUS, the, how it looks and works. So it can be complex for like uh, production type environments, or it can be simple and easy to use for like the news or the quick cut. Um, editing purposes, so it can fit uh, all types of um, uh, the customer needs. And I also read that uh, it's famous for being able to handle just about any kind of file format, whether it's video, audio, stills, whatever. Yes, and uh, exactly. And with Edius, uh, no matter what material you're working on, um, even a complex color correction process becomes a very fast and easy process, and that's even with HDR. So this makes EDIUS ideal for mobile or home working situations like most of the world's doing now. Yes, so uh, EDIUS can run on a quite modest PC like a small laptop. So, and it's also easy to install and easy to set up. So it's very fit for that kind of, um, how do you say, emergency need. And there are hundreds of EDIUS users around the world working with GV Stratus systems, both large and small. There are, and uh, EDIUS works with full quality or proxy media, and it can mix the two on the timeline. So uh, users can have a Stratus system bin on their desktop, just like this. Okay, thanks, Alex. Now, uh, as a former professional editor myself, uh, I like encouraging people to take a serious look at EDIUS. How easy is, is it for people to try it? It's really easy. So just go on the EDIUS area of the GV website and sign up for a free trial. Then just download and start editing. So we have uh, a, a special website called edius.net where we have uh, hundreds of tutorials and podcasts that uh, will, will let you get into Edius. So, so moving on now, what's new with Edius? Uh, I hear there's a version 10 in the works. Yes, there is. Um, but before we talk about version 10, I'd like to tell you a little bit about what's new and released in the latest EDIUS uh, 9.52. Okay, some new camera files have been added, I think. Yes, so uh, we always have like this great uh, relationship going with uh, all the uh, camera manufacturers, um, uh, manufacturers like Sony, Canon, uh, Panasonic. And uh, in version uh, 9.52, uh, specifically, we added uh, native support for the latest uh, new Canon, Canon cameras, uh, Canon EOS 1DX Mark III, and a proxy workflow for the EOS C500 Mark II. We also support the major RAW formats, so uh, we also updated to support uh, including the latest Apple ProRes RAW and Blackmagic RAW. So right now, um, we're the only NLE handling these uh, particular files. So EDIA's legendary list of file types just got extended some more. And what else is new? And uh, we're also really excited with our new uh, multicam audio sync feature. It sounds amazing, but you'll have to explain just a little bit more. What does it actually mean for the user? So uh, more and more for productions, um, especially like news and live events, they're shot on SLRs and even like smartphones or GoPros or these small cameras. 
And these cameras don't capture traditional time code, of course. So the problem is, how do you synchronize all these different uh, camera angles? So EDIUS solves the problem by analyzing the audio, and it uh, looks through the clips, and it just aligns them according to the background audio. So, and you can do this um, by with uh, no matter what the frame rate or the resolution the clips are, and uh, EDIUS can automatically arrange those in perfect sync on your timeline. So it's as easy as that. Incredible. It's a fantastic new feature, Alex. Thank you. So before we wrap up on EDIUS, uh, you did promise that preview of what's coming in version 10. I'm happy to present today, for the first time ever, the new EDIUS 10 logo and trailer. So as you see, um, several elements really come together. Um, EDIUS 10 is basically a complete redesign of the core software. And it's a new modular structure and will grab all the horsepower of the latest CPUs and GPUs. So EDIUS 9 already has the better and faster file editing than any other editors. But uh, EDIUS 10 will even take this to the next level. And do we have to wait until IBC time for all of this? Well, so the software will come out at IBC, but you can actually be uh, ready for it. So we already have a great offer right now. Anyone who buys EDIUS 9 now, that uh, includes that includes all the purchases um, after uh, last year's IBC, um, they can get uh, EDIUS 10 for free. So just to recap, that sounds really interesting. I can get all of the benefits of the latest V9, 952, and then later in the year, I'll have two editors for the price of one. Is that right? Exactly. You heard it, everyone. What are you waiting for? Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Trevor. <laughs>